Good morning, Texans. I'm Mr. Pellerin, the Texan TV showrunner. And don't forget, tonight is open house. Today is Monday, March 6th, 2023. And this is Texan TV. Good morning, Texans. I'm Jared Amaris, and you're watching Texan TV. Teachers, coaches, and club sponsors, please select one of your students to take photos of all the beautiful things your students do. Then they can scan the QR code and upload your photos. The deadline is 4 p.m. on Friday, March 10th. We want as many students and teachers as possible in the yearbook. Scan the QR code to complete a yearbook survey before we run out of space. The deadline is March 10th at 4 p.m. The Cherokee yearbook staff invites you to scan the QR code to share your words of inspiration, encouragement, or wisdom with the class, with the Texan class of 2023. Your sentiments will be printed in the senior yearbook section. The deadline is 4 p.m. on Friday, March 10th. Texans, start planning your future with the AASD College and Career Expo. It'll be Tuesday, March 28th at the CTC. Scan the QR code to register now. Hope to see you there. Texans, open house will be March 6th at 5 to 6 p.m. Bring your family to meet your teachers. Hope to see you there. Avid will have an In-N-Out Burger food truck fundraiser on March 6th from 5 to 6 p.m. during the open house pre-orders only. No purchase on the day of the event. Anyone can pre-purchase a ticket until March 23rd, which includes cheeseburgers, chips, and drinks. Please stop by room 1103 or 1105 to pay for your purchase. You can also pay online and just scan the QR code or see the flyers around the school. Good morning, Texans. We are now introducing our after-school homework center, open from Monday through Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m., located in the cafeteria. Any subject you need homework help on, come on out. We also have credit ABS hours for attending to help reduce old hours. Hope to see you there. Hi, this is Eric Miller, and this is Hector Tejas, and we're with JK Living, and this is Texan TV. Want to give me an understanding of who you all are? I heard a great introduction, I'm really very meaningful, from somebody who's on the Venice Beach. <laughs> <laughs>
Victor, we are heading out to Washington, D.C. to speak with some congressmen about the benefits of after school programming, uh, the negatives of school violence, and hopefully be able to lobby for some uh, change in education. Hi kids, I am Miss Visage and I'm your graduation coach. If you owe what are called ABS hours because of your attendance, you need to start working on that now. It doesn't matter what year you are, freshman through senior. Uh, do the ABS hours just go away at the end of each semester? No. Do they go away at the end of the year? No. They keep accumulating until you take care of it. They do not just get wiped out. If you are a senior in particular, you cannot graduate in May until these hours are taken care of. If you need to know what to do, um, everybody has the option to do online courses through what's called InfoBase, or you can do after school tutoring. You can also volunteer at um, events for the school on the weekend or after school. And if you are a senior, you are eligible um, for another option through essays and attendance. So if you want to check your hours, um, you can go online to do that. If you, especially if you're a senior, y'all, you're running out of time. Come on. Um, you need to make sure that you're on top of that and you can uh, come see me in office 819 or you can email me, but it's H V as in Victor I S A G E at AISD.net. Yes, if you are a senior, um, you need to, and you're not sure about your hours or how to use the essay to clear them, you need to email me and that way I can send you a document that has the exact dates and the exact number of absences that are allowed. Because again, you can't just write an essay and then be gone all the time. To, for, for anything to get taken care of, you're gonna have to fix your attendance and not for a day or two, but for the rest of the year. Um, if you do what's called info base, which I can show every kid how to do, every child's allowed to do that, you can get, um, now you'd have to do every single class, and hopefully you don't owe this many hours, but just in case, you can get 120 hours of ABS credit done online. <clears throat> now, kids say, so does that mean I'm going to be on the computer for 120 hours? No. It's not going to be five hours. It's going to take you a while, but it's quicker than you think. At the end of the day, once you become a senior, you cannot graduate until every single one of your ABS hours is taken care of. So don't, don't wait and think, oh, I'll take care of it later, later, later. Then you're going to be a senior panicking because you're not going to be able to graduate because you didn't go to class. Okay. Oh, and sorry, one more thing. Excused absences, those count against you. Okay. Sorry. Again, that's a state law. Excused absences count. And if you are getting put into the little theater because you're not in class and they have you check in, you're still getting marked absent because you're not in class. So that counts also. Hey Texans, beware. Wanted by Student Council is your food cans last seen hanging on your cupboards and pantry. We are hosting our annual canned food drive. Please come out and help collect and donate canned foods to the Freshman Center by the end of March. So how do you feel about the spring break? Um, I feel like it's gonna be very good. Uh, I want to do more things that are not staying inside the house. And that sounds cool. Yeah, and like do stop motion and all that stuff. Because I want to do those like freaking cool moves with like, you know, like Dragon Ball fights. Oh yeah, oh, I've seen some crazy stop motions. Yeah, I've seen them, cra they go crazy. Yeah, I want to do some of that. So what do you think about the spring break? I think it's great, really great. I'm just like, excited to see my parents. Like, I'm visiting them in the weekend in Garland because I want to graduate here and finish and be with my friends. Oh wow, you going? You going to see your parents? Yeah, just that we made a deal. Say if I, I can stay here and graduate, then I'll see them in in the summer. Oh, that sounds that sounds cool. cool. Like I stay with my aunt during the months, like until like graduation. I see them, then they go to college. All right. The Mac, it was fun. It's fun? Mm -hmm. How fun? Uh, very. Very? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
you thinking about John Wick 4? John Wick 4? Man, I'm, upset, I'm, upset, I'm expecting too much stuff from me going on. Wait, oh. Like, I can kill one people. Oh, good, okay, never mind. John Wick 4, I think it's going to be a really good movie. It's going to be a really good chapter. And it's, it's going to be a really good move for, um, for John Wick. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be one of those uh, Endgame movies. Yeah, it's going to be one of those one of those best movies that's going to come. Yeah, probably better than Endgame itself. True. Yeah. How do you feel about the new John Wick 4 movie coming out, uh, like, March 24th? Uh, I kind of like all three of the movies, so I'm really excited about the fourth one coming out uh, soon. So, yeah, that's about it. Well, Texans, that's all we have for you today. My name is Ariana Camacho, Texan TV's Managing Director, and you've been watching Texan TV. Okay, woohoo! Oh, wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, well, I'm glad you stuck around. Why don't you play one of our videos? We've got this one here and that one over there, and you can click on the button and subscribe. Why not? Go, Texans! Did you hear that? <laughs>